Wednesday Church Online, let's start our day together by praising, worshipping and singing together. starting in chapter 20 at verse 45 and then going through to chapter 21 to the end of verse 4. You going to read today? Yeah. While all the people were listening to Jesus, Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of the teachers of the law. They like to walk around in flowing robes and love to be greeted in the marketplaces, and have the most important seats in the synagogues, and the places of honour at banquets. They devour widows' houses, and for a show make lengthy prayers. Such men will be punished most severely. As he looked up, Jesus saw the rich putting their gifts into the temple treasury. He also saw a poor widow put in two very small copper coins. I tell you the truth, he said, 
This poor widow has put in more than all the others. All these people gave their gifts out of their wealth. But she, out of her poverty, put in all she had to live on. Cool. Two parts there. Yeah, short, short two-part reading, but a, a lot of a lot of stuff in there, isn't mm. there? And the, the first, or well, the second part. Let's start with the second part. Is that we have Jesus seeing the the widow's offering, mm. I and mean, this is quite a well-known passage, I think. Um, when we talk about giving as a church and giving as part of our worship, we often look to this passage. Um, where Jesus is saying it doesn't like it doesn't matter what these rich people are putting in, they're doing out of show. They're putting in a tiny percentage of of what they have, but the widow is giving everything that she has, doing it quietly, humbly. Mm. Yeah, it's. I think that the kind of the not making a song and dance out of things, out of our out of our worship, is the thing that connects the two parts of this, isn't it? But that that second half, I think that. It really speaks about the heart of our worship, mm. about how how our giving is actually it's it's not about a number, but it's about are we are we stretching ourselves? Are we giving our best, our first of you know our our time, our money, whatever else we've we've got to? Yeah, are we recognizing God? that all we have is from God, mm. so that actually giving it back to God isn't isn't a big thing it's what we should be doing it's how we should be responding yeah it's not ours to hold on to and to decide what to do with really yeah that's right i think it's just the the grace of god that he he gives us everything we need and gives us the opportunity to give to him he doesn't need what we have does he but but he gives us this opportunity to give thanks and to respond yeah and i think how that connects with the first part is you know, Jesus is talking about the teachers of the law there who are walking around in flowing robes. They love to be greeted. They, they want the most important seats. They make lengthy prayers. Mm. <laughs> a reminder a, to us a case to pray for short, short prayers. prayers. But Jesus is saying it doesn't, kind of, it doesn't matter how important you think you are. You shouldn't be going around making a show of yourself. Your worship shouldn't be, oh, look at me, look at my worship. It should, it should be about God and it should be done humbly and reverently and... Yeah, it, it's like when when Jesus teaches about about prayer, he says, "Go go to your room, like shut yourself away." I always imagine it being like a cupboard for some reason, like <laughs> kind of Harry Potter under the stairs. But yeah, go. He says, "Go away to your room and pray in private," because you know God sees. God's God's wild about the hidden stuff, yeah. isn't he? Yeah, and it's no it's no good. That relationship with God is no good if it's just for show, mm-hmm. and that's the only time you have a relationship with God. Yeah. So maybe there's something about being, being consistent and authentic in who we are. It, it shouldn't matter whether it's only God seeing or whether we're walking through the marketplaces. Yeah. It, and it sits like similarly in our giving. We shouldn't be giving and then put it on Facebook. I've given this much to the church, look at me. Yeah. That's not the heart that God is asking us to give with. Mm. Yeah. Challenging. There's so much in there. It's... I just think that the long prayers, I'm so often guilty of praying long prayers, I think. that Maybe that'll be my challenge, just pray a really short prayer later yeah. today. Yeah, and some some people, some, some of the best best prayers, is that a thing, the best prayers? Some of the, like some people that I know who are just really, um, really good at, in, at praying, I don't know how you'd be good at praying, but their prayers are, are short and to the point and honest and not trying to make a show of what they're praying about, mm. they just pray from the heart. Yeah. It's just lay, laying yourself before yeah. God, isn't it? Being honest with Him. And I guess that can come in any way. You can't yeah. any kind of any language, any you know dialect, yeah. style, whatever. Well, shall we um, bring ourselves before God now in a, in a short time of prayer? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Join us at home in in prayer. For loving God, thank you that we can come to you just as we are. Thank you that we don't need to have all of the right words and the right sentences to say. Help us to worship you with the right heart. Help us to be authentic. Help us to be in the same relationship with you, whether we're in our room, praying on our own, walking through the streets, praying with other people. Help us to 
to be authentic in that relationship with you. God, challenge us in how we worship you. Challenge us in our giving. Help us to know that every good thing we have is from you and help us to be courageous and bold in giving back to you. Lord, I pray for everyone who's struggling at the moment. So many lives have been just flipped on their heads and changed drastically in the past month or so. So I pray that for whatever reason people are struggling, you'll be with them. Pray for our community here in Ipswich, that the people will turn to you and know your love in this time. Why don't you just take a moment to, um, to pray for people you might know of who are really struggling right now. So let's join our prayers and pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom kingdom come, your will be done, on on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now Now and and forever. forever. Amen. Doesn't the Lord's Prayer just do everything that Jesus asks of us? Isn't it? Isn't it? (laughs) (laughs) Short and simple. Shouldn't be surprised given that it's the one who taught us. So our tip today been thinking about um, what it is to give and um, praying for people who are struggling at the moment, however that might be. Um, So our tip is think about your giving. Think about how you give financially to church, um, financially to support charities. I think food banks at the moment are especially um, especially important. Mm. People who maybe be out of a job um, for the first time and people who might be struggling to just get together what they need to feed their family. Mm. Um, pray about where God might be asking you to put your money at the moment. Yeah, and can I just challenge you to to kind of push yourself in giving actually because like that that um reading that we had about about the widow giving two small coins like it says she would she had like nothing that would have been a real struggle for her and i think sometimes when what we do with our money can be really faith building and can really kind of show us jesus says where your treasure is there your heart is also yeah. can kind of be a good faith measure i think yeah yeah so have a great Tuesday. Um, come back tomorrow, 8 o'clock, where Matt, um, Matt C, the, the youth worker, will be doing his Matt's Thought for the Week. Um, I'm sure it's going to be fantastic. Yeah, don't miss it. Uh, so stay safe and God bless. Bye. Bye.